Good morning and welcome to today's maths class students. So in the last class we had started with the chapter patterns and symmetry. All right. So we uh, solved a few questions. Uh, we saw what is symmetry and we solved a few questions. So today we'll be learning what are patterns. Okay. So first of all let us revise what is symmetry. Okay. So what is symmetry? Symmetry is nothing but when a, a, a shape is said to be symmetrical, when one half of it is the mirror image of the other half. Okay. So, when one half of the uh, any shape or object is the mirror half of the mirror image of the other half of the object, then that shape is said to be symmetrical. Okay. So, if you look at this butterfly, right. So, this butterfly is symmetrical along this line. So, this half is the mirror image of this half. Okay. So, this butterfly is in symmetry. Alright. Then we saw uh, different, we saw what are lines of symmetry or mirror lines. Correct. So, here the question is, is there a way you can cut this figure into two equal parts? So, how will you cut this figure into two equal parts? You can cut this figure in half to create two identical figures. So, we cut this uh, rectangle in middle to create two equal squares like this. So, when we cut this rectangle, you get two squares like this. So, the line will create two figures of the same shape and size. Okay. Now, is there any other way that you can cut this figure into two equal parts? You can cut this across the rectangle. So, this line also creates two rectangles of equal size and shape. Right? So, it is creating two rectangles. So, here we have two rectangles. So, if you look at the two rectangles, one is the mirror half of the other. Okay. So, the yellow and pink rectangles are of identical shape and size. Okay. So, what, uh, what are these lines called? These lines are called as lines of symmetry okay so the pink rectangle is a mirror image of the yellow rectangle in shape and size and that line is called as the line of symmetry and then we saw how many lines of symmetry are there for this triangle so how many lines of symmetry will this triangle has the tri this triangle will have only one line of symmetry like this right then how many lines of symmetry are there for this shape this shape has one line of symmetry cutting across like this okay so this was what we learnt on symmetry now we'll see what we uh, learnt in patterns and we'll try uh, we'll study different patterns today okay so patterns and symmetry so what is a pattern a pattern is nothing but it is a repeated decorative design okay so we saw what are patterns right so it's a repeated decorative design so if you look at the first image here they have uh, done a pattern like this to create a design same way here in the next one this is called a geometrical pattern or design so they have used circles to create flowers like this and this has become one design right so pattern is nothing but a repeated decorative design so we saw what is mirror image or symmetry so what happens is if you closely look at the patterns you will find that if you place a mirror strip along its center and look into the mirror the other half of the pattern is seen in the mirror okay so the dotted lines in the following represent the lines along which each half is a mirror image of the other okay so in some of them more than one such lines is possible so, some of the shapes have more than one lines of symmetry, okay, whereas some do not have any mirror image only, okay. So, here they've told in some of them, there's more than one such line is possible, while in some it is not possible to divide it, okay, such that each half is the mirror image of the other, alright. So, if you see the third shape, it doesn't have any mirror image. Okay, then we saw that even many letters in, uh, in English alphabet can be divided by 
a straight line into two mirror halves. So T, D and M are three letters which can be divided into mirror halves. There are other letters also which can be divided. So here they have given you example of T, D and M. Then there are some letters that cannot be divided in this manner. So G, Q, R is an example of letters which can cannot be divided in this manner. Okay. Then we'll see what are other patterns. Okay. So pattern shape patterns are those which occur when a group of shapes are repeated over and over again. So when a group of shapes are repeated over and over again, then those are called as shape patterns. Then, so these patterns follow a certain sequence or order of shapes that is then repeated at least two times. Okay, so these patterns what happen? They follow a certain sequence or order or a rule. Okay, and when these shapes are repeated at least two times, that forms a pattern. Okay, so the shapes can be simple circles or uh, simple shapes like circles or squares or it can be objects such as arrows then they can be also flowers, moons and stars. So patterns can be made with various things. Alright. So other patterns. So you often see that the some pat same pattern repeating itself again and again. As in window grills, textures, textiles and quilts. So if you look at this, this is a, a, this is a tile. Okay. So if you see, look at this image, you can see the patterns. So you have a pinkish color uh, octagon here. Then you have a white one. Then again it is repeated with pink, white and so on. So like that this tile is created. Here also if you see you have flowers. So first you have four flowers in first line. Second line you have five. Then third line you have four again. So if you go with the same rule that is four first then five. Then four again then you'll have five more flowers in the next line okay so in the following pattern the figure is the same but the colors are different so if you look in this look at this pattern the figure is same that it is a four petal flower but the colors are changing so you have one red one blue one red one blue and so on right now in this next pattern you will see that the objects are different but they repeat in the same order so first here you have a pair then you have an apple then you have a orange then again you have a pair of apple and orange so it is repeating one pair one apple one orange again one pair one apple one orange okay now here what do you notice about these patterns here now if you look at the first one you have a few series of dots so in the first one you have only one dot then if you move on to the next, they ha you have two dots. Right, you have one dot. So towards its right, they have added one more. Then they have added one more on top. So three. Then now this is four dots, right? Now they have made it five dots. So it is increasing by one. Now if you look at these lines. So in the first pattern, you have five lines. Then you have four. Then you have three. You have two here. And you have one so the dots are increasing while the lines are decreasing okay so thus we have seen repeating increasing and decreasing patterns in the above examples correct so if you study the patterns carefully and understand the rules you can easily continue the patterns so sometimes the same figure is just turned or rotated to get the next figure so the example shown beside will make this clear so this arrow shows upwards, this one shows right, this one shows down and this one shows left. So they are just rotating or turning this arrow to form a pattern. Okay. Now, what is tiling or tessellation? Here you will find that a single pattern is repeated over the entire region. So here, the single tile of this type. Okay. So if you see here this single uh, this is a single tile so it has a four leaved or four petal flower white color and its background is green so this single tile is placed next to other to form a pattern correct so a single tile is placed 
next to another leaving no space in between so there is no space between two tiles so the pattern is thus continued on all the sides such patterns are called uh, tiling or tessellation patterns what are they called they are called tiling or tessellation pattern so you will find many such patterns on floors so what what are the three main rules for tessellation you cannot overlap two patterns or two tiles okay and there should be no gap between two tiles or no space between two tiles and the shapes should be regular polygons what are regular polygons they are shapes which have all the sides equal for example a square square has all sides equal correct so that is a regular polygon okay so here if you see here you have all triangles with different colors here in this next one you have a, a shape called hexagon but the, again there are three colors you have light blue then you have navy blue and a darker blue here right so here you have rectangles you have yellow uh, yellow purple then purple yellow then again yellow purple then here this is purple yellow so what will be the next tile here it will be yellow first and then purple now here also you have a series of gray and yellowish triangles correct so here you have blue straight triangles and green inverted triangles okay so these forms patterns or tiles like this okay so again here you have this so these are different examples of tessellation okay okay let's solve a few uh, questions on patterns here now if you look at the first figure here you have one triangle correct then in the next pattern you have they have added two more uh, two more triangles to it correct so you have one so to that one they have added two then in the next one you have one uh, to this three they have added another three okay so they are increasing the number of patterns so here one here they have increased by two here they have increased by three so the how will be the next pattern the next pattern the triangles will be increased by four okay so let's try and do that okay so this is how the pattern will look like okay the next pattern will look like this right so we had three squares and i have added four squares next to that okay now here you have uh, two pink squares to this they have added two more pink squares so you have total of four then after that they have added two more squares here right so in the same way will now what will be the next pattern if you see the rule here they are adding two squares every time so here we will add another two squares to it okay so you will have something like this so you will have one then two uh, the squares all should be of the same size okay so two more like this okay so this here okay like this and this okay so now we we had six squares to which we added two more squares okay now if you look at the next one you have one rectangle then one circle then one rectangle and they've added one more circle then here they've added one more circle so you will have a, what will be the next pattern here you'll have a rectangle correct you'll have a rectangle like this and then you'll have uh, circles so in the previous pattern you have had three circles Correct. So you had three circles. Then to that three circles, we'll add one more. Okay. So the previous pattern was something like this. Correct. So to this, we'll add one more circle. So, like this. Okay. So we have a rectangle and four circles here. Now the same way you have, you can do the next one. You have one square to that they have added four squares right so on each side they have added one more square now to this they have added one more squares on each of the square so the next pattern will continue in the same way 
ओके सर दिस इज ऑल अबाउट पैटर्न नाउ विल सी ऑफ यू क्वेश्चन विच आर देयर इन योर टेक्सट बुक सो एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट टू ऑन पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव सो द फर्स्ट वन कंटिन्यू द पैटर्न ओके सो लेट सी द ए वन ह्योर यू हैव वन एरो विच इज फेसिंग अपवर्ड्स करेक्ट देन इन द नेक्स्ट वन दे हैव एरो फेसिंग टूवर्ड्स द राइट देन इन द नेक्स्ट पैटर्न दे हैव एडेड एन अनदर एरो फेसिंग अपवर्ड्स देन इन द नेक्स्ट दे हैव एडेड एन एरो फेसिंग टू द राइट देन इन द नेक्स्ट डायग्राम ह्योर अगेन दे हैव एडेड एन arrow facing upwards so after an arrow facing upwards we add an arrow facing to the right is so, it correct so the next pattern will be something like this so you have three arrows pointing upwards so you will have three arrows pointing to the right okay so this is the next pattern then what about the next one now you'll add an arrow now you'll add an arrow facing upwards again so you'll have four arrows facing upwards so one two this is three and we'll add an arrow here like this and towards the right you'll have three arrows only so one two and Three. Okay, so one, two, three. Now, question number B. Now here you have the letter A. Then next you have A B. Then after that you have A B C. Then you have A B C D. So what will be the next one? You will have A B C D E. Right. So they are increasing the alphabets by one. So A B C D E F. Okay. So these are the next two terms. Now here in the next one, one uh, point, okay. Then to that they are adding one more point to the right. Then you have three points here. Then they are adding one point down. Then again you have a point over here, okay. So let's continue that now. So now what was the previous pattern? One point here, then one point over here, then one point here. one point like this and there was another point here right so now what you will do now uh, consider this single point like this just as in the first one so after that you have to add an point next to it so the next one will be like this there will be a point here okay so next one will be a point here then this like this like this then here then here we have added in the last pattern then the next will be on the top over here okay so this is how this looks like then coming to the next page here now so here uh, what do you have so you have a straight line like this correct and then a straight line towards the right then it becomes a triangle okay so then they have one line now to the triangle again on the left they have added one more line then here to the right okay so what will be the next one okay so you will so this is how the triangle looks like correct so they have added a line outside this on the other side then here on this side so now we'll add a line on the below okay so here like this okay so we have to add a line below then here for the next one okay so like this then you have to keep adding okay so you have to keep making a triangle inside a triangle like this okay so here you will have it uh, now if you look at it 
uh, they are making a line inside this triangle correct so they made a so, so in this figure we have one triangle and another triangle inside of it so in the next figure you will have two triangles and in in the in the, uh, inside the smaller triangle you will have a line on the right, uh, left side okay then here you have a z b y c okay what is this pattern here now now if you look at the alternate uh, letters so you have a b c here and if you go to the second one the odd uh, numbers here that is sorry the even one you have z you have y so for every odd place they are starting from a and from and they are going forward and for the every even place they are going backwards from z correct so you have c here what will be the uh, next letter here the next letter over here will be x okay and here the next letter will be d all right so this is how you finish the pattern next one 2 5 8 11 and 14 so if you see you have to find the difference between the two numbers so 5 minus 2 is 3 8 minus 5 is also 3 11 minus 8 is also 3 and 14 minus 11 is also 3 so they are adding 3 every time here so how much will be 14 plus 3 it will be 17 okay so 14 plus 3 here is 17 then 17 plus 3 is 20 okay then you have 1 2 4 8 and 16 so you have 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 8 16 then 16 plus 16 you have 32 then okay and then 32 plus 32 you have 64 so they are adding that number every time so here they have done 1 plus 1 2 then 2 plus 2 4 then 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 6 32 then 32 plus 32 64 okay now same way uh, complete these two at home okay the h and i one then next one identify the rule and tick what comes next okay so you have a leaf then you have a rose leaf rose leaf rose right so the leaf comes first so which is the so which is the next one i first one or second so it is the second one the leaf comes first then the rose so here you have a green apple red apple green red green red then here it ends at red. So after red you will have green then red. So the first one is the correct one. Okay now you have a dog here then a cat. Dog, cat, dog, cat. Like that last you have a cat. So after cat you will have a dog. Alright so this one is the correct answer. Now question 3. Copy and complete the tessellation pattern. The dots will help you. So the pattern that is there in the first square should be copied in the second square. These dots will help you to complete it. Alright, now complete this question 3 and question 1 H and I for your homework. Alright, so this completes the chapter patterns and symmetry. Alright, so I will see you all in the next class students. Thank you.